Welcome to our, our webinar today, introducing Parasoft uh, Bank Pay. I am joined here by Tammy Bauer, who were, is really um, the star of the show. Uh, she's been here for, gosh, Tammy, is around 18 years now uh, with, with Parasoft, and will we'll be walking us through the demo today um, of our solution with, with called Bank Pay with, by Parasoft Pay. Um, my name is Tosh Mkonge. I'm an account executive here at, at Parasoft. Been here for um, almost four years now based in the Chicago area. And again, recognize some familiar faces. So it's, it's great to see you all again and um, looking forward to, to walking you through the solution. Just to start, I um, wanted to, to introduce and, and say, you know, why does this matter, right? Um, banking and payments with, with bank pay will be offered to 180 countries directly from your ERP, directly from your accounting system. So that includes payments, payment tracking, and global banking all in one solution. And again, to emphasize, this will all be integrated in your existing setup through your existing bank. So no need to change those relationships. That'll be something that's, again, direct, direct integration with your, your current banking system. This can also be combined with our invoice AP automation solution and procurement solution for a full procure to payment process. Um, and it is open to all customers. Again, all your cash can all be now accessed in, in one place through our integrated transaction automation. This includes multiple payment types, including check, ACH, and wire. And you'll have the ability to play, pay suppliers same day with that touch-free filing. Um, again, direct integration with your bank for that check, ACH, and, and wire payments. Those payments are also have the ability to be processed right after those invoices are approved. So this will eliminate that manual process, right? Where I know today a lot of our customers are maybe downloading a, a file, uploading that payment uh, batch file to their bank. That'll eliminate that process, right? Take out the middleman and have that direct integration there. And again, these transactions are made through your existing bank for both security and ease of use. Uh, you know, many other solutions, they use a third party processor to process those payments, which can open you up to fraud risks, security risks. This is that direct bank connection, um, that direct accounting system, direct ERP connection here. And with that, with that, I will stop talking and, and pass it off to Tammy to walk through the demo. And we will be monitoring the chat as well, just in case there are any questions that we can answer um, after the demonstration. Great. Thank you, Tosh. Um, and I want to reiterate what Tosh says. It's nice to see names of of people that I've worked with over the years. And um, so I know there's there are some existing customers on the line that are interested in learning more about our new offering. And, and I understand that there are also um, people who are very new to Parasoft and what we offer. Today is a very small portion of what Parasoft brings to the table. We do have a full procurement to pay solution. Today, we're going to focus on that bank pay. Um, what you should be seeing now is my homepage of Paper Save. There are a lot of tiles on here. Um, we're going to really just be focusing on this one, but we are going to start kind of at the end of a process because paying the invoices are is really the end, right? You've either requested the goods, you've got a purchase order, the invoice comes in, or you have an invoice and it's in and now you need to pay it. So we're kind of at that end of the process. But with Paper, Pearsoft, we do offer all of those things. So I'm going to kind of start in towards the, towards the end, and I'm going to show you a little visio of what my process is. So the, the top half is our invoice approval process. So if you're not familiar with Pearsoft's Paper Save, which is our AP automation tool, let us know. We'd love to show you that. Um, I'm actually going to be demoing this bottom part, but I'm going to start from this step here in my workflow. Once I submit an item from my workflow after it's been approved, Paper Save automatically goes in and creates the invoice transaction. And I'm going to say invoice transaction. I know that there are a lot of people on, on the line here who are using different accounting systems, FENXT, Dynamics GP, Business Central. Um, intact. And so I'm just going to use the generic term invoice transaction because they all have different names in all of them. But once you hit that button in our workflow, it's going to automatically create that invoice transaction. Then the document moves over to what we call our payment review workflow. And this is what we're going to focus on. But I also want to take a sidestep too, because 
even though Pearsoft brings to the table procurement, AP automation, and payment, you can choose to just implement the payment solution if you'd like, because we can actually extract open payables um, transactions. This says GP, but from Business Central, from Intact, from FENXT, and we can drop those into an approval process as well. So not to muddy the waters, but you don't have to have Pearsoft's uh, full system to use pay, bank pay. So we're going to submit a document that it, it will create the transaction. We're going to then follow that document through the whole approval process. You've got to think about this first step. This a, pay, a payment review person is think about how you're building those batches now inside of your accounting system. Somebody is running and doing a payment journal or doing some query to say, all right, here are the open invoices that we want to pay today or tomorrow or next week, depending on how long it takes you to print those checks and get them signed and in the mail, right? Uh, so this is all gonna be done electronically through the documents that are processed inside of the system, the system being Pearsoft, right? That batch then is sent over to a payment approval. These steps and workflows are completely customer defined. You can call these steps whatever you want, but mine are, is called a payment approval. This really might be the person who's looking at that, that payment journal and going, yes, no, yes, no, yes, 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 and checking things off, right? Depending on how you're doing it. Maybe it's electronic via an Excel spreadsheet, but either way, it's still manual. They're going to be able to select them all, select several of them, and send them over to the payment gateway, and that's the Pearsoft Bank Pay. Now, you can also have rules. Let's say you've printed checks now. You are doing that now, and you have to have two people sign checks over a certain dollar amount. Well, you can get that approval all electronically before the check or the payment is actually processed. So I like to show this because this is really the flow. Whether the document invoice is processed through Pearsoft's uh, AP automation tool, or you, we're just gathering that data from existing transactions. It's going to go to a batch builder. So who's going to approve that document or those invoices for payment? Maybe that second level. And then you're done because Pearsoft Bank Pay is going to create that um, file to send to your bank for them to process those payments. And after that bank has received it, Pear Pearsoft Pay and PaperSave is going to go back in and automatically create those transactions, those payment transactions inside of your ERP. So we're going to start that process from our workflow. So I'm going to just process a document through. This one is, is Staples Business. It's already gone through an approval process in my make-believe world. Again, our AP automation is filling out all of that data for you. It's gone through an approval process. But as soon as I say submit to FE, this information, and this is my accounting system I'm working with here, it's going to go in, automatically create that invoice transaction inside of your accounting system. That document then moves over to that payment review step. So think about that payment review step. And so this was Staples, right? So it's going to end up here. I'm going to hit refresh here. And these are all of the all of the invoices that are sitting here waiting for me as that batch builder to create a batch, right? Who do I who do I want to pay? Now I only have 10. You, you know, in a, a week's time or two weeks' time or however often you pay your invoices, um, that that could be, you know, there could be hundreds in here. So you don't want to pay all of them. Some of them are due, you know, next month. Some of them are due in the next two weeks. Maybe you only want to filter and pay the ones that are due within a certain due date. That's what I'm going to say, just due date. And I'm going to say, give me all of them that are equal, uh, less than or equal to, and I'm just going to pick today's, or let's go out to Friday, right? So there are 10 invoices in there. Out of those, I want to pay six of them, right? So now I've built my batch. Think about doing that in your accounting system. You've done it electronically. And I'm going to say send for payment approval. Once I do this, think about sending that electronic document to your approver now who's saying, yes, we want to, we want to pay these, right? Well, they're going to move over in that process. That individual is going to get 
um, they're going to get an email notification. They're going to let the, to let them know that they've got these documents. So now um, Angela owns these. And if I look at these, just so that you can see what happens here, this is the workflow. So paper save again in the approval process for the invoice, it went through the approval process, then it was submitted into the accounting system. And now we've, we've associated it, or that means that a, tr a transaction has been created. And this is the transaction in this particular ERP system. And I could look that up and I will look them up in just a minute, but now it's in this payment approval process. And all the while it's tracking who's done each one of these steps, right? So if I think about who's approving it, Angela is approving it right? I'm playing Angela right now. So Angela can come in here and look at all of these invoices individually and hit approve. Or maybe the, the process really is they really only want to see the invoices over a certain dollar amount. Well, great. Then, you know, all you have to do is filter this. And I've got a couple of them that are that are big. And so listen, if those are the ones that Angela really wants to see, she can just drill down and look at those, look at the coding again, look at all the people who approve them. And in this one, let me go back here. You can have many levels of approval. In fact, when I hit approve here, this invoice is going to go, this payment is going to go over to the executive approval level because it's over that threshold. And then once she's done with the big one, she says approve. If this is the only level of approval you have, your job is done because what this is where Pearsoft Bank Pay steps in. That file is now sent over to our bank pay solution, we're gonna go into that. It's preparing that file for your bank in the, in, in the one of many formats that the banks that we work with, which are many, 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 um, stateside and internationally, right? So they, we work with many, many banks, um, hundreds, I believe, and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, there's many of them, maybe even thousands of the bank formats. And that file is being prepared to get sent over to your bank so they can cut the checks, the ACH, the EFTs, whatever those payments are. In the meantime, that data also is coming over to this step of the process, which is payment pending, meaning, meaning Parasoft Pay hasn't yet created the payment transaction. Again, this is for FENXT, but it would say GP, it would say Business Central or Intact. Um, it's waiting for that validation from your bank that says, yes, we received this file from Pearsoft Bank Pay, right? So there is a there is a, a, a holding pattern before we go in and create that transaction. Now, I think I did five or six of them and you see only four here. That's because remember I said those two needed the, the big ones had to go over to Sammy, who is that second level of approver in that payment approval. So you can see that Angela approved it. And so now I'm going to just approve these and get these over to that process as well. But really at this step, you're done. Your job is done. But from an accounts payable standpoint or an accounting standpoint, we also have this dashboard that during this process, you're going to be able to see where invoices are. I've got some past due, just know that. And I've got some that are due today that I haven't processed yet. So um, just know that there are some things that uh, in my data are past due, but there's this dashboard that from an accounting standpoint is going to tell you where all the things, all the items are, who owns them and so on. I'm the biggest culprit here. You can see I've got a lot of past due invoices. But this process to get them from the, the pending payment into, into your accounting system is anywhere between three to, you know, an hour minutes, right? 60 minutes. It just depends on how large the batch is, the, the timing of your bank and when they're processing th these things, but it is within that same time period. But really your job is done because what happens now, and I'm going to come back out here to my homepage and I'm going to go into my bank pay and it is going to launch a a web, uh, a, a new portal. You don't really have to go in here, but this is kind of an area that you're going to be able to go in and 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 look at things. And I have to put in a new a new um, password. It does have dual authentication, so I'm going to put in a new password here, paste, and log in. Oops. 
incorrect. All right, well, let's try that again. Paste. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go in there in just a second, promise. Let's try this again, delete. There we go. Error between the back of the chair and the keyboard, which is me, obviously. All right, so this is my homepage for PearSoft Pay, right? So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go into the payments. Now, you gotta keep in mind, I'm not really paying anybody. So when I hit that payment, you know, approve and pay, yes, we will eventually create that transaction inside of your accounting system, the, the payment transaction or payment journal, depending on your, your ERP. Um, but I'm not really sending anything over to the bank pay because I'm not paying anything. So some of the data that you're going to see here is not going to match what we are going to see inside the ERPs, but they come over in that batch. So this would be the batch for today, right? And it would have all of those transaction, those vendor payment transactions listed here. And then if there were invoices, multiple invoices. So I only have one, it says Fujitsu, but if there was Fujitsu and Staples and UPS and um, whomever, Air, Amazon, whoever else you're paying, right? That batch would list all of those suppliers and each one of those payment requests would get, we, they call it a check number, but it's really an idea. It's really kind of like a reconciliation number. This is that payment. It's unique to each one of those vendors. Some vendors might want to get paid individually for every invoice. Let's say Fujitsu, I sent over three in one payment batch. Um, maybe they want three individual payments. Well, they'd be listed there three. And again, that's completely up to you and your control on how you want to, or how those vendors, suppliers want to be paid. But each one gets this unique check number. It's not a check number as in the, the, the check number that's coming out of your account. It's, it's a payment number. It's a check payment number, right? So each one are unique. And that's what's going to tie this batch to the, to the transaction inside of your ERP, to the document that paper save process through, to your bank reconciliation. I can get even more detail on that. Again, I could scroll down and see those invoices that made up that batch from here. If I go back to that home page, I can filter. Oops, I meant to go here. I can filter based on, you know, what do I want to see? I want to see my my searches maybe for a certain payment for maybe you have multiple bank accounts, right? You're going to search for all of your different bank accounts and you can narrow those batches down. But this is where the where PearSoft Bank Pay is creating that file, putting into the format that your bank requires, sending over all of that information, how they want to get paid, what checking account they get paid out of, um, their, their routing information or, or their wire or ACH information. All of that's going to be sent over. And then ultimately, if I come back out here, I'm going to go into, this happens to be FENXT, but ultimately what happens is I'm just going to go into one that's already paid. Again, it takes, it can take a few minutes to get that processed. Paper save, and for those of you who are in a different ERP, we're going to go into those accounting systems, um, but this is for those who are using FENXT on, and I just went to the, to the invoice, uh, but again, it creates that payment transaction. If I click here, here's the payment transaction that was created by the PearSoft Bank Pay. It puts all of that information in, it creates it and marks it as, well, I haven't posted it yet, but it marks it as not cleared. You're still going to be doing your reconciliation, but it does create that and it ties it to that transaction. Again, with Paper Save, you have the ability to capture the document. So from here, if I click on this particular document, I'm gonna be able to see that yes, in fact, here is that, that payment ID number, right? That where it got processed through, that is that check ID number that I just showed you in the bank pay solution. That's tied here, it's tied to the transaction. Um, if I go into intact, for those of you who are in intact users, I know that those are on the line as well. Again, we're coming in, we'll go just go into allied. I, I've filtered this by paid. 
we market in this case as paid, every accounting system is a little different, right? So the information is going to show up in a little different place. But here we're marking this as an EFT. We Here is that ID number. It's literally on the bill transaction. And if, again, paper save becomes, if you're not a, uh, a paper save user, but you're using intact, we do become a tile or a tab, excuse me, on the bill transaction. I'm gonna click on this. You're gonna be able to see that document as well as that number that's tied right to the transaction, right? And then again, for those of you who are um, GP users, let's go into GP. I had to open up another solution here. Um, I just filtered by 360 net. Again, every accounting system is just a little different, but if I go into this payment transaction, here's the payment transaction. Again, there's this R, uh, this uh, bank ID payment number that's showing up here. And uh, with paper save, if you come up to additional and you say show interrelated documents, this is gonna show the document that was associated to the invoice payables transaction. And again, if I click on this, you're gonna actually see the completed workflow. Again, there's that number that ties it to the payment solution. It is also over here in profile fields down here. We can see when it was paid somewhere down here. Sorry, um, it's a little, I went, think I went too fast, but um, we can see that information over here somewhere. Here it is up here. Um, and, and so on. So, and then if we go to, um, this is Business Central, right? I have, to, I did an arc best here. Again, we're going to mark that as, as paid and the invoice is here and I can say show document. And some of my profile fields are here as well. So again, scrolling down to see that banking information, if I kept it there. Um, and here is that reconciliation number and the full workflow on who's approved something and who processed it through the, the workflow. So all of that information going back to looking at this, this process here, you're building the batch of the transactions you want to pay inside of the bank pay, Parasoft bank pay solution running it through your approval process. All of that is tracked on that document so that when the auditors look at it, they know who's approved it, when it was approved, did it take two levels of approve it, improvement, uh, approval, excuse me. And then it tracks back to that payment ID in um, the bank pay solution and the information that was transferred to your bank. So I know that was a lot of information. Um, hot, it's, pretty high level, especially when we're talking about people who are using our system currently in different capacities, those who aren't multiple accounting systems. But I want to um, stop sharing now and turn it over back over to Tosh to maybe answer some questions. Perfect. Thank you, Tammy. And we do have a few questions. Um, one of them was about the approval process. And, and the question was, are there approvals done via email or some mobile solution? Or does the approver have to log in directly to our solution to, to approve those payments? That, that's a great question. So um, the, the approval is done uh, or can be done multiple ways. First of all, you would be logging into the Parasoft um, solution for the approvals, but they can be done like I showed from the web. We also have a mobile app that you can approve from. And then you also can do one uh, email approval, but it, it, you'd have to approve each individual one because it's per item and each invoice or payment is an item. So yes to all of those, but you would be logging into the Pearsoft solution for that. Thank you. And I can take this next one. The question was, what did you mean by open to all customers at the beginning of the presentation? And 
Um, really what we meant by that is that the product has no you know, minimum AP spend tier requirements or minimum threshold for the amount of payments you're making, um, really making it accessible regardless of your organization's size, as long as you're making AP payments, right? Um, made sure to develop this product with direct integration through Pearsoft to your bank. So that's within your same product window for that added security versus having to, to go to that third party payment provider there. And I'd also like to add, Tosh, if you don't mind, mm -hmm. is that, as I mentioned earlier, Pearsoft brings the whole procurement to pay. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be using the procurement and the accounts payable automation. All customers, if you just want to use our pay, that is available to you. So as well. And we've got a couple more. Um, one of them was, what are the global payments like with different laws? You know, do we need to do anything to, to set you know, security up through through those um, those different laws. No, um, the bank pay solution is a world uh, worldwide solution. So those things are done now. Obviously, you know, depending on your bank, um, those that's why we're dire we're directly feeding information to your bank. So. Mm -hmm they've already identified what those regulations and needs are with the file formats that we're sending and the information we're sending. Thank you. And this is the last one I can take this as well as how does this solution compare pricing um, to your bigger one when we were advertised about? Um, and, and this one is less expensive. So it is a little bit more cost effective, a little bit more affordable. Um, when, when we reach out to you directly after this webinar, um, we can get you a quote um, directly that is of interest to, to you guys. And I know in the interest of time, there were a lot of great questions. Um, saw that a lot of them have been answered, but if those questions have not been answered, we will be reaching out directly to you to answer those questions. And um, if, if you already are a Parasoft customer, you can request early access to, to bank pay as well when we reach out.